Today we're going to do section um, 1.5 A and B. We're going to be discussing the anatomical position, what that means, and then going over the anterior and posterior regional terms. These are um, terms that everyone across the world basically has agreed to so that we all have a common language um, in healthcare. Um, when we're talking about the wrist area, we don't use the word wrist because that's different for everyone else in a different language. We use the carpal region. So today we're going to start off first what means the anatomical position. And this is important because whenever we're talking um, uh, about a part of a body or an area that might be injured, if we say the front of the body, well, what does that mean? The top of the body or behind the body. So we use the same terminology and we'll go over directional terms in the next video. So when we're talking about the position of the body, it will always be within this reference. The body is standing up. It's erect. It's not laying down. The feet are on the floor and they're parallel. The arms are at the side. They're not raised up, they're at the side. And the palms are facing forward. That way, the thumb is facing outward. We're gonna learn that's called lateral. And the pinky is facing inward. That's a medial position. So when we talk about anatomical position, the body's not laying down. It is standing up erect, feet parallel, arms at the side with the palms facing forward. That's very important. And I'll ask you that question on your first test because you need to understand with reference of anatomical position. So now we're going to move into our regional terms. Now, this is going to take a while to learn all of these, so you need to be patient. Um, we will practice over and over again. I have games online for you guys to play. I have videos of me going over this, actually touching my body, so you can watch those. Those are on Power School as well, as well as these notes that we're going to go over right now. Now, the author put these in alphabetical order, not in order here where you see the regions in order from the superior portion of the body working our way down inferiorly. So I'm going to go through them on the notes alphabetically. I'm also going to add a little bit more information about some of them and show where they are located in reference to each other. But this is what you will have to know. Um, if I say the region that is anterior um, body trunk inferior to the ribs, you're going to write down the word abdominal region. And conversely, if I said the abdominal region, you would say it's anterior, it's the front portion of the body trunk below inferior to the ribs. Alrighty? Okay, so let's start. So I just went through the abdominal region. This area here, all throughout here, is the abdominal region with the exception of where your belly button is, which is called the umbilical. Oh, and notice that almost all of these terms end with AL. When it's a region, we use we add the letters AL, unless it would sound nonsensical, like fibularal would sound silly. So we just added the AR. Um, sometimes, as we get to learn more information, go through the bones, you're going to find out that the bone here is called the femur, but the region is called femoral. Do you see the difference? So right now it'll be a little easier, but as we gain more knowledge, we'll have to make sure we distinguish between regions have AL and the bones themselves just are their strict name. Okay, so this is called acromial, acromial. This is the point of the shoulder. Part of the scapula helps form the shoulder. It's where our muscles for our arms here are attached. Part of it's a rotator cuff. And there is a projection that projects forward right here for attachments of um, tendons and ligaments, et cetera, and other connective tissue. It's called the chromion process. So this region right here, anterior shoulder, is called the acromial region, acromial. The antecubital region is kind of where they would draw blood. It's right where your elbow bends and it's anterior. And almost think about it's like a cube. It's kind of the square. That's how I remember that one, antecubital. The next one is axillary. The axillary region is your armpit region. I gotta move this. It's the armpit region. So it's all up here in your armpit region. And up in this area here, um, Healthcare workers will palpate and feel you have some uh, a big collection of lymph nodes in there. Maybe you have an infection. They'll be feeling to see if the lymph nodes are enlarged. So this is the axillary region is your armpit region. And it's denoted right here in this diagram. Oh, and by the way, you'll have this diagram, the blank version of anterior and posterior. I call it anterior and posterior, naked man, but it's the regional terms on, on your test. Okay. 
Brachial means arm. This whole region up here is your brachial region, and it's pointed right here. So this is all brachial. There's a brachial artery in here. There's uh, brachial muscles in here, so that's brachial. Buckle, this is the cheek here. We actually have a muscle called the buccinator that's named after this region. So buckle is your cheek area. Carpal are the wrists. The bones of the wrists are called the carpal bones. Carpal, right near the wrist. Cervical is the neck. We have seven cervical vertebra. If you are in a car accident and have whiplash and you want to isolate your neck, you'll wear a cervical collar. So the neck region is called cervical. Coxal. Coxal are these hip regions right here and right here. You can see the word. The bone, collectively, it's made of three bones fused together. The hip bone is called the coxal bone. So that region is named after that. This is a new word. It's called crural. Crural. Crural is the anterior surface here of the lower leg. And you're going to find out behind it, posterior, is sural. So when we're playing this spec says, and we're saying an easy way to remember this, this is crural. And the back is sural. And it's kind of a sing-song way to memorize that. Digital is simply the digits, your fingers, and also your toes are your digital regions. Femoral is your thigh. Femoral, femoral. This is the same for anterior and posterior. Fibular. So here's a, an example where we don't add the AL because it would sound silly. It's the lateral. That means the outside part of the leg. You have two big bones here. The front one's called the tibia. And the side small strep bone is called the fibula. So therefore, the lateral outside portion of the leg is called fibular. Fibular. Some of you may have heard of this word before. This is called inguinal. inguinal. This is the area right here where the body is going to meet the thigh. So the whole trunk of the body is going to meet the thigh. And it's like this line right here and right here. Inguinal. Um, People can get an inguinal hernia, and access to the femoral artery is done inguinally. They'll put a, a, an incision here and access the femoral artery if they need to go up into the heart to do a catheterization or down below to do a catheterization. So this is the inguinal region. Nasal is nose. There's a nasal bone right there. Oral is mouth. That's pretty easy. Orbital is the eye area. So right here and here are orbital. Patellar is anterior knee. So this is the patella is the bone. It's patellar is the region. The pelvic region is an area overlying the anterior pelvis, the anterior pelvis. So the pelvic region here, pelvic, is right below abdominal and right above the pubic region that's going to be down here. Okay, so this is pelvic, pelvic. This up a little bit more. The pubic region itself is the genitalia. External genitalia is the pubic region. Sternal, this region right here, below it, deep to this, is called the sternum bone. This is sternal. Tarsal are your ankle bones. Ankle bones are called tarsals, and this is the tarsal region. Thoracic is this whole chest region here. It's called the thoracic. We don't add AL to that. And then lastly, the umbilical region here, the navel, is right here. So that's the anterior portion. And I'm going to finish up with the posterior. Darn is many here. So the heel bone is called the calcaneus. So the calcaneal is the bottom heel right here. Calcaneal. The head region is called cephalic. It has an F sound, cephalic. And that's the whole head region. Deltoid, we don't add an AL to that, is the whole shoulder region here, not the anterior, not the front, very front point, but the um, point here. Femoral, here, back leg, upper thigh. Lumbar, so lumbar is right here. It's above the gluteal region in the hip, but it's below the ribs, and it's lateral away from the spine. This is called lumbar, lumbar. Occipital, there's a little bump and bone right here on the lower portion of the skull. It's called the occipital region. Olecranal, olecranal, posterior surface of the elbow, is right here. 
there's a process called the lecrenon process. So this is called a lecrenal, is the um, posterior process of the elbow. Popliteal, popliteal is behind the knee. So remember patellar was on the anterior, popliteal is posterior. Sacral is in between the two gluteal, right here, it's the medial. It's called sacral, there's a bone beneath that called the sacrum, so this is sacral. Scapular, that's this region here where the scapula is, scapular. Sural is the calf, posterior lower leg, sural. Vertebral or vertebral is the spine, posterior spine. And finally, plantar is the bottom of the foot. It's the inferior surface, not posterior because the heel is the calcaneal. Underneath is called plantar. And those are the regional terms that you'll need to familiarize, well, memorize. And we'll work with this in class.